quote tweets on it, almost all of them from DGG. Wow. As in, if you go through and just pick a random name, every single one of them follows the Omni Liberal. Oh. And if, Bro, you said you people could pick up chemistry with, books with, and make uh, medicine. And they, please, oh. somebody get me into a conversation with her. Tell her I want to have a, a, tell her I agree. What do you do? I think we should make our own medicine. I don't want to talk to her about my experience medicine. making medicine. Uh, okay, hold on. Dude, I, I actually can't listen to this because I have to play this and her actually, everything she says about drugs are so bad. Okay, firstly. Isn't this the plot for Breaking Bad? Uh, no, because the dip. Yes and no. Uh, you do zero damage, give up, and come back later? <laughs> what? The Demon Mama timestamp. Speaking of Vouch. Speaking of Vouch, why is your volume so fucking low? Learn how to stream. I had a conversation with Vouch. What is this yee yee ass haircut? What the fuck? I was not a big fan of it. Uh oh. And we're gonna talk about it. Because, um, I haven't really talked about it barely at all outside of my own server and a couple of people. Oh no. I had a debate with Vouch. Oh no. Um, and, uh. Uh oh. I got a lot of thoughts about it. A lot of people didn't see it, but, um, a lot of people did see it. And, uh, <laughs> I what does that say? was very, let's just say I was very, very <laughs> disappointed oh, no. by this debate. Oh no. Um, by this debate. And I very, very much uh, hesitate to call it a debate. Um, so, how do I even start talking about this? Uh, boy, oh boy, I had a lot of stuff to talk about. So, Dead. I think it would be an understatement to say that the conversation bothered me. Um, it, it, uh, it, it, it definitely, it definitely bothered me. Um, and, Part of it was just the the premise of the conversation. So How did she talk so know, long and say nothing? Uh, there was recently a massive oh destiny.gg pylon to a a tweet that I made. And you know what? Um, I'm not even going to show the tweet right now because it <laughs> because really is so stupid. Necessary. <laughs> um, the original tweet was uh, a conversation that Doe and a like six follower account were having and I jumped in and made a sort of offhanded comment that uh, got retweeted into the DG Geosphere and by the time that I had woken up from my, my nap uh, after tweeting it there was like 200 quote tweets on it and by the end there was like 600 plus quote tweets on it almost all of them from DGG. Wow. As in, if you go through and just pick a random name, every single one of them follows the Omni Liberal. Oh. And that's about my it. God, that's crazy. So, um, it was really funny. And the re and it's it's really interesting to me. Oh because my god. I, mean, I, I think talk I'm feeling it. I'm feeling because, the fight. Um it's really, really easy to uh to build a straw man and make fun of someone. No, let or me heal. try to make fun of someone or dunk on someone for a position that they don't hold. Okay. So, like, for for example, um, imagine I'm gonna give you like a small example of this. Okay. I jumped, so bro. imagine, like, I think right now if I was to poll the chat and I was to say, you know, do you think uh, that saying, um, like, the the uh, the the uh, uh, petroleum industry CEOs are pieces of shit? If I said that statement in chat. I bet a lot of people would either like agree with it, would probably strongly agree with it. But I could also immediately say, oh wow, so you think we should just kill those people? We, You think that we should just delete them? What would happen to all of their employees? You want working class people to starve? So it's very easy to take a statement and go insane on it and just make things up to get mad at. And if someone is uh, a unlikable enough figure such as myself other people will uh will jump on board with it and the reality is that in dgg i am an unlikable figure what is it she is even literally saying? as gay fish is saying it is the so you hate waffles thing it is um it is i like pancakes so you fucking hate waffles that is what it is. It is a severe lack of charitability. And Bro, you said you people could pick up chemistry with, books with, and make uh, medicine, and then you defended that level of charitability. You can make anyone sound bad to a hostile audience. That is just the truth. In fact, interestingly, Vosh himself has made a video about this. Um, and, uh, and I think he understands this very well.
which is part of the reason why I was incredibly frustrated that when Vosh woke up and went on his stream and uh, decided at his chat's uh, at his chat's prompt to look at my tweet, <laughs> I was so I bad. was uh, I was frustrated that he seemed unwilling to look at the other things that I was talking about and to was only willing to fixate on a definitively out of context tweet that had was already getting dogpiled on. Now, um, <laughs> the conversation that ensued, I think, was she is crazy, stupid. right? Her fan base must uh, realize that she's actually fucking insane. There was a there was a vote in the chat, um, and the chat, uh, 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 and the chat. Well, that was for the second part. He started Fuck. talking about it before that. You literally argued against the concept that supply chains are necessary. No, banned. I did not. Uh oh, they're getting banned. See, this is the uh -oh. thing. Uh oh. Um, if you want to, you can twist any statement into no anything way. else. Uh, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Please, 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 please. You voted please. no? Well, implicitly, Thank you. that means that you were, uh, you, you were really just trying to shut down Vosh's ability to make money off of it. You are a villain for that. So, like, again, you can literally twist anything if you try hard enough. And if you have an audience that's preferable to that, you can do that. No! In this particular case, uh, In this case, yeah. my tweet was... First of all, taken out of context, and then I was no, it asked wasn't. Stop to saying show that. to talk about the topic, or <sighs> rather, to talk with Vosh about it. And what started was what I consider to be a incredibly bad faith opener to a conversation, which was to the quoting of to my, my own words saying, <laughs> against me. Well, what do you believe in? So do you believe in supply chains? Now, the funny thing is, the conversation was never ever about whether or not I believed supply chains were a thing or not. Supply chains have many configurations, as it turns out. There are supply chains as simple as I get my beans from the farmer's market, the farmers deliver it to the market, and then I buy the beans with money and- Keep in mind now, so she hasn't talked about this conversation for days, right? They, this conversation was a few days ago, she hasn't talked about it, right? That means that everything you're hearing right now, she's taken the time to like script out. She's thought about it. So we're not just hearing stupid shit. We're hearing stupid shit that is like been thought out. This is like, she's taken time to prepare these statements. That's how stupid she is. Go home. That is a tiny supply chain. Then there are big, complicated consumer supply chains. So for example, an example of a consumer supply chain is uh, a Chinese factory manufactures a television. That television is bought by LG, a Korean company. LG puts their logo on the TV. Then they send it to America where it is sold in a Best Buy who bought a certain amount of stock, and then that TV is delivered to the hands of a paying consumer. That is another type of supply chain. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when the conversation began, oh, and I was asked whether I believed in or advocated against supply chains, I said I felt like that was an absurd question to ask. And then I was immediately accused of trying to avoid the question. But the problem is, I was never talking about whether or not supply chains exist as a concept, but rather what types of supply chains are there? What happens if Dude, you cut out of the I think supply chain, do know, yeah. how not would you bands, source so. medicine? It's actually really funny how easy it would have been for someone to get my opinion if they wanted to, but... A large amount of people, they didn't just not want to engage, they were looking specifically for something that could be taken out of context. We call this on Twitch and YouTube clip chimping. They were looking for something out of context to jump on to make sound bad. Huh. That's why when I responded to what do you do without a capitalist supply oh, chain, come on. I responded you should make you should find ways to make your own medicine and source your own medicine outside of the usual supply chain do you understand i think you both were talking past each other yes but 
there were there's a context that's also important there. Okay, there's a there is a all the people that are telling um, Destiny's armor is soy spot. Reminder uh, that armor is literally a crutch in Souls games. If you uh, ever there use was it, a, you didn't actually I'm sorry, the game. I apologize. True. I think we're like both that. talking past each That's true. But I was invited on to explain myself, yeah. and then I was actively talked past. So I don't think that I'm wrong because somebody else aggressively misinterpreted me. You understand? Sound Judgment says, he literally said, Does I think she said some other things that obfuscated her original tweet. He was actively ignoring the context. I like Vosh, and I have defended him even recently, but his behavior in that convo was borderline reprehensible. Get away, he was not dude. in the state of mind to engage fairly with anyone. He basically admitted it to himself beforehand. I would agree with that reading, to be completely honest. I was baffled in the conversation, and there was a part in which he accused me of being high because I was stumbling on my I will words be talking a little about bit, a debate I had with literally Vosh. because People I didn't saw this know debate. what he was talking about. People also about. did not see this debate. I didn't like the debate. I did not ask also, it isn't a debate. I, he, anyway, this debate was tagged me in chat, and I said, I will come on if I'm invited. And then I was invited. Oh, Bob, Pepe yeah. always wins. So... Why do but they call streams shows, too? I was on Vosh's show. Okay. Why do people say that? It triggers the fuck out of me. All right. It's not a show, okay? Well, maybe for these clowns it is, actually. Let's, let's be a little bit more, more specific, okay? Cringe. Let's be more specific, okay. <sighs> oh, how is everyone... Uh, Psychopax, you have to go into your account... Go to the account menu on the website, your uh, your your user profile, and you'll be Destiny, able to choose you pronouns. You it's a new feature. It's the account <laughs> menu. I'm sorry, it's not funny. That's a good feature. Good one. I don't believe so. I think I said I would go on if I was invited. I don't believe I I, I, I don't believe I was the first one. Multiple people tagged me. Maybe I did. If I did, I'm willing to own up to that. That's a very small thing. I don't really think it matters that much. Oh. If I ask first, fine. I think I may have, there's a, I believe it's possible that I was like, oh, you should just bring me on instead. But multiple people were tagging me when I was brought on, and I said I will go on if I'm invited by Vosh. You can oh, check the good logs. one, dude. Yeah. Sure. Let's check. We can see. Anyway, again, I don't really care. I, I can, if I asked first, that's fine. Vosh offered first. I missed him saying it. Oh, okay. That's what, oh, this is so annoying. Why does any of this detail oh, even matter? None of it matters. Oh I my God. The first anyway. boss faster than Demon okay. Mama has gotten to her so, first point. True. Let's talk about what I was talking about originally, okay? No, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's ooh, wrong order. We'll talk ooh, about that wait, after. Ooh, wait. Let's talk about the conversation. Okay, let's do that. The conversation that ensued was, in my opinion, uh, not only just disappointing, mm -hmm. but I don't want to sound... Um, okay, Nomad, I, 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 I hear uh -oh. you on that, and I'm going to get to that. Please uh -oh. stick around. I will. I hear you, and I uh -oh. will talk about it, uh -oh. okay? Bathtub insulin? Is um, that what we're going to talk about? So... The reason why I think the conversation went so bad is because I uh, I did, and maybe this was the wrong decision to make, I did go in expecting that my, that like a colleague and friend colleague? would be willing to hear out What's up, fellow colleagues? Like, my frustrations with being misinterpreted, especially someone who is constantly, constantly, um, uh, 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 mis, uh, called out, which was constantly being misinterpreted. At misinterpreted. That Hold on a second. I'm getting distracted. So I don't know if he mentioned you bringing. Yeah, I don't know. We'd have to watch the VOD. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. I'm all over the place right now. Let's focus and not get stun locked about who asked first. <sighs> Point is, uh, I was frustrated going into the conversation and I recognized that probably made me sound a little pissed off, but I was very frustrated from the get-go because specifically because Vosh was reacting only to the the out of context tweet when I had literally written a thread literally. about what I thought a broader about the topic and was openly willing to discuss it further but no such thing occurred no nope. I was simultaneously being asked questions about a 1000 year future world which I never advocated for a 1000 year future world I was talking very specifically about what we do now and in the near future if people are cut out of or if capitalist supply lines collapse. I was never talking about whatever the fuck everybody else was going on about. So when I came in, 
I was attempting to explain to Vosh that I was tr that my point had been misinterpreted and I wanted to get the actual point out. This was immediately assumed to be being slippery. In fact, I believe he said that I was being slippery and then shortly after began to say that I was playing victim because I expressed frustration at being misrepresented. That was very annoying to me. And also, I think Use a, a parry giant shield. Waste I don't have one yet. <laughs> this conversation was an opportunity for us to actually talk about real politics and instead it became immediately a a tribunal on my Twitter behavior and on my personality. And this continued and got even worse. At one point during the conversation, Vosh misheard me. Now I have oh, verified no. this myself. The misheard. I've had two people transcribe oh, no. it for me. You can go check it yourself. There was a point in which Vosh misheard what I asked oh, no. and accused me of saying that the FDA doesn't get us anywhere. I did not say that. I was asking simply where we were going with a conversation about the FDA specifically. He interpreted that wrong. He misheard me. Wait, can somebody get me? Is Dima Mama still streaming? Do you think she would talk to me about this issue? Oh, good one, And dude. then when I pushed back on that, he then called me a victim again and said that I, that I was trying to have a meta conversation about the conversation instead of as a way to distract from the point at hand, which is... The most uncharitable, dickish way of interpreting somebody going, bro, oh my God. you just said to your audience I'm of 15,000 people that I was gaslighting you when you misheard. You just said that I was being an abuser to your massive fucking audience. That's kind of important to me. It's actually more important to me that you're telling your followers that I'm an abuser because you misheard me. That is more important to me than whatever stupid disagreement you have with my tweet. And guess what, guys? I think that's rational. I don't think that I am irrational or abusive or gaslighting for saying that I think that my tweet is less important than you telling your audience that I'm an abuser and a gaslighter. Try dodging left instead of right. Um, I can Keep try hating it. your life then, working class Andy. Lady Cuckery, get out of my chat. Uh, Ooh, please ban, ban Lady Cuckery out of my chat. Damn, one person banned. Well, here's some. If you think that was abusive, watch this. Uh oh. There you go. Um. Good one, dude. If you want to accuse me of abuse or gaslighting. I will expect you to be with banned. an accusation of that level to come with some motherfucking receipts. But let's be real. What actually happened was that Vosh, being extremely careless in the moment, got extremely triggered about a tweet that I made, didn't was not willing to listen to what I had to say I think about it. Right instead, is better. ran with the interpretation that DGG did and then jumped on the dog pile, called me abusive and gaslighting because he misheard me. He misheard. I don't think that I don't think I'm wrong at all for being frustrated with that. I don't think I'm wrong for not wanting to maintain to stay in that conversation. When I said, how many times did I say that I think we should end the conversation? And yes, while it is true, I could have hung up. I was hoping that we could come to a peaceable, peaceable, agree to disagree end. But Vosh was not willing to have that sort of end. He was determined to prove me as an abusive dumb fuck at that point, which I think is a really bad faith way of engaging. And I didn't like it. And I still don't like it. And I think it was shitty. I also think it was egregiously shitty to oh, stand in front of your audience and tell them I'm a gaslighter because your stupid ass misheard. Oh, Sorry. stupid ass. Maybe that's ass. a little bit assholeish to say, Ooh. but I think I'm right. Good one, dude. Sip. Be. Oh, now, I'm gonna get the sippy sippy. Oh, sippy sippy sippy. We can talk about what the what the conversation could have been. Oh, had sippy sippy. Instead, oh, sippy sippy. It wasn't about jumping on a dog pile and trying to determine me as an abusive person over a tweet. Which, boy, oh boy. That's some Doesn't sippy, that feel sippy a little shit. hypocritical? 
doesn't that feel like just a little hit? Oh, we are locked to, like, in the eternal the dance. Canceling thing from Bosch, the guy who's been canceled over his was actively being canceled over a tweet. Oh my God, Vosh, you're just like me. We both have problems with Twitter, Vosh. We're talk the same. About the actual subject. Now cook some okay. <laughs> insulin in the bathtub with me. Let's do it, shall we? You all, you all interested? You all interested in what we're talking about? Sure. Let's fucking talk about it. Okay. So I've been thinking about this. I believe it or not, been reading. Wait, about I don't this. believe it. And in fact, Doe has also been reading about this don't and think sharing so. <laughs> lots of stuff with me, which feels fucking sick as fuck. Oh my so god. So let's actually talk about what I was talking about here. What were okay? you talking about? So what I was trying to talk about is the fact that as it currently oh! stands, the world, medicine, yeah. as we know, uh -huh. the medical institutions, the way that we say get it's the drugs, same thing fifty pharmacy, million times. Yes. Pharmaceuticals, Keep... medicine <laughs> okay. is entirely <laughs> built. On top of the profit motive. You wow. understand that? Oh my we God. have insurance. We have privatized. Pa we have patent ownership by pharmaceutical companies. We have production owned by those pharmaceutical companies. You have no way to access medicine besides getting a job and paying for the medicine. Wow. Getting a job so you can get insurance to pay for the medicine. What is so Medicaid? Lucky, what is you Medicare? Might be in a state that has Medicare or Medicaid. These are federal you programs. Those, you don't necessarily have to be lucky, guarantee. but okay. And those are what those do is just have the government pay the private corporations for the medication. So um so it's a little bit fucking, you know, so 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 that's the that's the start point. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> really, and dude? In a world where everything is locked behind money, um, me medicinally is locked behind money, you might go, well, then maybe I should do it myself. And <laughs> you go, well, damn, medicine is very complicated. <laughs> yes, it is. But if you can't afford it, you don't have anything else. And if you're in pain or you're dying and you still don't have money and you're in pain or dying, you might not be able to get money. So what happens when you are the one who is cut out of the currently existing supply lines? Please, oh. somebody get me into a conversation now with her. In a tell her I want to have a. Tell her I agree. What do you do? I think we should make our own medicine. I don't want to talk to her about my experience medicine. making medicine. Please, please get me into a conversation with her. I want to talk it. about this so badly. You either find a miracle way to get that medication legitimately, oh, or, sippy, sippy. or you buy it on the gray market. Gray markets are often, interestingly, uh, qualified drug producers in other countries who sell these things via technically not legal routes. Gray market has nothing to do with producing your own drugs, by the okay. way. I don't know why she's even using so, that as a, an example. But. Isn't this the plot for Breaking Bad? Uh, no, because the dip. Yes and no. Uh, in Breaking Bad, he's, he, he has cancer and he sells it to make money to pay for cancer meds. So yes, there is a certain amount of truth in Breaking Bad, but I don't appreciate the Breaking Bad things because he was cooking meth. <laughs> it doesn't cure cancer. Anyway. Okay, here we go, we got it. Danny Fallen says, okay, cause I'm autistic, I went back and I, I went back to the Vosh bot. You called into contention what he was saying about rural doctors not getting meds. <laughs> he went to pee, a chatter suggested you be brought on. He then offered to let you on. You asked to be brought on because chatters were spamming you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. I like how before it didn't matter, Thank but you. now that she feels like she's to the right, now it definitely matters. Okay. Now it's really important. So. Let us, let us uh, continue. Now, there are some medications that are very, very, very difficult to produce. There are other medications that are not difficult to produce. Let me give some examples of yeah, this let's for hear people it. who are interested in this topic. An example of a medicine that is not difficult to produce is weed. <laughs> That's our fucking li She's a libertarian! is one of the most effective painkillers in the world. One of the most effective painkillers, and it can be grown from the ground. Hold on, what? I think it helps with like nausea oh and can like God. be slightly so helpful a, for painkilling, but of a medicine that's super easy to to DIY. You want to know what Simon else says. about that medicine? It's also quite Summer safe. Or take is even I don't think that you can take fucking cannabis 
I don't think you could fucking smoke weed to overcome like massive surgery. Like when you have like a, like serious fucking pain. Weed is some shit you smoke when you think you've got a fucking chronic pain and it makes you feel better because you're fucking high. Okay, I'm being a little bit dismissive, but like, I don't think that you can smoke weed, okay, to like overcome serious pain. Maybe for some kinds of chronic pain, maybe for anxiety or nausea or whatever, I think it helps for that. But like, tell me that you don't know anything about fucking painkillers because there isn't a profit incentive to taint the, t the weed and also the effects of weed are relatively minor. So it's actually super easy to just test it and be safe. It's also super easy to cross test. So one weed farm makes weed, <laughs> tests another weed farm and that weed farm tests the other weed farms weed and they both go yep this is clean weed because they're doing it for the good of 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 people being able to enjoy weed now obviously profit motives fuck this up but that's what we're trying to address we're trying to get rid of the stuff that fucks it up what the fuck are we talking about right now obama true now I'm a pharmacist and holy fuck. There are other medications me that are not so easy to make. Yeah. Okay. Some of those um, are to treat extremely, extremely niche illnesses. Very, very rare. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. Those that are the... only some people have, and therefore it's difficult to produce. Oh, my now, God. If there is a medication that require that is very, very difficult to produce, don't you think that we should reserve special supply lines for that type of medicine? Because right now, the way it works is that capitalist supply lines control everything, including niche medicine. Now, because of the profit margin, that means that we have giant drug factories and that we have extremely stringent, highly bureaucratic drug supply lines, which cut people out who then die from that disease. I think as people who allege to be leftists and anarchists that perhaps we should go oh my god this is a very very bad situation for us to be in our this niche medicine is patented controlled and manufactured only by corporations which means if you're the one who's sick oh, you have to pay oh, that I need to be, I need to be, we I need to be. free non-profit supply lines for complicated medications and it might be hard to do, but we should do it because it saves people's lives and we're leftists. Based. Just do it. No one ever said that we are going to delete all chemists, that we are going to delete all chemistry, that we are going to delete all factories. The factories exist already. The professionals exist already. What? The, the, the materials oh. exist already. They are all being exploited by capitalism. And what I'm trying to say is we should find ways to break down the ex ex specifically exclusive consumer okay, dude. supply lines and replace them with better things, okay. some of which might not look at all like- All right, I don't know about now. this boss, guys. <laughs> and guess what? There are chemists, s specialists, shipping specialists who can figure it out and do. An example of this. Did you know that all over the world there is a black market for designer drugs? I'm talking drugs that, that get you high in a way that you can only produce in a lab. Drugs which could kill you if they weren't pure. Illicit drugs are a for-profit black market industry, and yet they still manage to somehow maintain purity. And if someone makes a drug that's- uh, Okay, hold on. Dude, I, I actually can't listen to this because I have to play this and her actually, everything she talks about drugs are so bad. Okay, firstly, when she's talking about RCs, research chemicals, okay? Designer drugs like LSD or MDMA or 2CB or 4 Aquamed or all these other like designer drugs. These drugs are different you, you? than pharmaceutical drugs because all these drugs have to do are make you high and have fun. Okay, that's all those drugs are meant for. They're not supposed to have a therapeutic effect on some disease. It's a totally different thing. I don't know why you would compare a whole class of chemicals that just make you high and you have fun and possibly are neurotoxic and do other bad things to your body. Nobody fucking knows because these aren't really studied that well. I don't know why you would compare that to drugs that are supposed to have therapeutic effects for diseases. It's like, it's, you would never, ever, ever, MDMA and LSD aren't designer drugs. No, you're, you're wrong. These are designer, they're literally, well, I don't want to say you're wrong, but Obama. what I've been, 
My understanding is that a designer drug is when somebody makes a drug in a laboratory for you to get high, basically. So LSD, MDMA, 2CB4, all of these things would be considered like designer drugs. Um, People don't call LSD a designer drug. Usually they're talking about more exotic drugs. Like but I'm pretty sure that like LSD and MDMA count as designer drugs. They're literally drugs that are made in a lab to get you fucking high. <clears throat> Obama. Let me, hold on. Now I'm going to look it up. Okay. A designer drug is a structural or functional analog control substance that has been designed to mimic the Keep pharmacological effects life, of the original Working drug, while avoiding classification as illegal and or detection as a rabbi or minister walk into an anarchist bar. Then they all died because the alcohol was tainted. Oh, maybe designer drug only refers to analogs of illegal drugs. So I so if a so if a designer drug becomes made illegal, then maybe that makes it no longer a designer drug. I don't know, maybe. <clears throat> like K two or spice. Okay, designer drugs are analogs of already made illegal drugs. Okay, gotcha. Pure. But regardless, all of these types of drugs aren't supposed to have therapeutic effects. They're just to get you high. It's not the same thing as like a drug that's meant to treat an illness. Unless they got it secondhand from like a, a skeezy dealer, guess what? You know, more or less, who made your designer drug. And you can go and take umbrage with them and other people will as well. And that's not a free market solution. That is a reputation based. I don't think that's necessarily true either because you don't know who your drug dealer is getting your drugs from. You don't, you, I mean, maybe if you're doing like dark web stuff and there's like different sales on different, depending on what marketplace you're on, but like most people that buy drugs from people, you have no idea. Like, does she think that every drug dealer makes their own drugs? System, which is what most of the world already runs off. Research for free Obama. Can you clarify the difference between bureaucracy and profit motives? Because I feel people get those mixed up. Bureaucracy, okay. When I hear, okay, the term bureaucracy refers to systems oh of God. government that are powered by unelected bureaucrats who oversee loads and loads and loads of paperwork. That is what a bureaucracy is. Bureaucracy Obama. is not a substitute word for any form of organization or any form of, or, of record keeping or any form of doing your homework. A bureaucracy is specifically designed to deal with legal bloat. The reason why the United States and the USSR are the most famous bureaucracies in the world is because we have extremely inefficient, unjust legal systems that require an un and such an expensive cost. And guess what? Some corporations function as bureaucracies as well because some corporations are working with the government and their employees are not elected and they are basically pencil pushers who are in partnership with the government. That's too greedy. I should never go over three heads. So to be clear for the record, you're not saying get rid of supply chains, but rather make them better. You can't get rid of supply chains. Okay, I can't listen. This person's fucking retarded. I think I have 20 minutes left. Hold on. I should try to stream for 10 hours today.